Hello everyone, RiceTom911 here, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add animated parts to your farming simulator mod using animated parts script. So, what you're going to need to do complete this tutorial is Giant Editor 7.0.0 or higher, and Notepad, preferably plus plus, and also I gave you a little M parts pack. It's linked in the description, along with Giants Adder and Notepad Plus Plus. And what you're going to want to do is go and download that M parts pack because it contains some sample code, which will really help you through the tutorial. So you can copy and paste what you need into your mod desk and your XML. It also comes with the script since I wasn't able to find the link to the script anywhere, so I just included it in here with this. So, that'll give you everything you need if you have Giant Adder, this pack, and Notepad++, plus plus, preferably, you're good to go. So now, I'll show you what you need to do next. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now that you've got everything all set up, is you're going to want to, out of that M parts pack I gave you, Take the toggle anime parts Lua file, copy it, and go and paste it into the scripts folder within your mod. If you don't have a scripts folder, I recommend you go new folder and then name it scripts because it's a good idea to have a scripts folder within your mod because if we look at the sample code I gave you, I already have it set up so that looks for the Lua within a folder called Script. So that's the best way to do it, plus it keeps things nice and organized. Okay, so now that you've got your script in the Scripts folder, we're going to move on to the next step. What's that, you ask? Well, now we're going to open our moddesk.xml. So go ahead and open that up. And now we're going to open as well our sample code and we're going to copy what we need from the sample code and paste it into our mod desk. So, as you can see here, under input bindings, we're going to add one for our animation. So, you're going to change this animation name here when you figure out what's going to be an animation of. For instance, you can name it hood or whatever you want but you'll want to have it match up with the one that also says animation name here in the XML. I'll show you what I mean by that later. So now, to specializations, we're going to add this piece, this script, well, it's, yeah, script, code. So we'll add that under specializations between these two, right here, and that was in there between these input bindings and input bindings. And now, specialization name equals toggle ammo parts. We're going to put that in under here before type, but under all this. So then we'll have, that's pretty much it. So once you've got all three of these placed in the correct place, you're pretty much done with the mod desk. So you can go ahead and save that up. And now we're going to go ahead and look at the XML. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. XML. And now we're going to go into the sample code of the XML and copy this. Then we're going to go to the bottom of the XML, but just before vehicle, the end tag there, just before it, and paste Adam Parts, this whole block. So, once we've got this pasted in, then we're pretty much all set up code wise. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead into the adder and we'll be referencing between the adder and the XML in order to make the necessary adjustments to make our animation work. So let's save this all up and go over to the adder. So now that we're in the i3d file of our mod, what we're going to do is we're going to look for the object that we want to animate. In this case, I've got up top and bottom hatch for the trunk all set up. 
in separate pieces from a mod, which are ready to go in Amate. As you can see here, they're separate from the mod. They're in their own little group. So, now, how we animate this? Well, now, going back to the XML, we have the top hatch here, which has an index of 029, as we can see. So, top hatch, 029. So, we're going to go ahead and put the index as 029. And then we have the bottom hatch, which is 030. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. And animation name here. I'm just going to name it trunk. And this trunk as well. So remember in the mod desk as well, we had a piece that said animation name here. Well, we're going to want to have trunk as the name for that as well. So there we go. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at what kind of animation we're going to do. So, since I have a trunk here, I'm going to want to have it rotate like this out to about 90 degrees. So, I would be using the rot min and rot max since I want to do a rotational animation. If you did not want a rotational animation, then in this sample code, I also gave you some code, well, sam more sample code, which you can use to give you different types of animations. For instance, instead of rot min and rot max, you could substitute trans min, for instance, like this, right here, over rot min, and that would do a translation animation. So, move it up or down, or right or left, wherever instead of rotating it. You could also use scale min and scale max to make it get bigger or smaller during the animation or basically whatever you want. And you can change how the animation happens by changing these values here. And I'll show you how that works in a second here. Okay, so using my rotation animation as an example, we're just going to go ahead and set it up. So, let's start with the top hatch animation. So, you see these here, the rotate x, y, and z values? Well, this one's negative 60, this one's 0, and this one's 0. So, that would be our initial rot min, because that's where we want to start. So, negative 60 is where we want to start. So, that's what we put as it, negative 60. 0, 0, because that's where we want to start. And now, our rot max, that's where we want to end. So, where do we want this animation to end? So, I'd like for the animation to end about... Let's just have it end about 0. So, we just put in 0, and that means it'll rotate from negative 60 to zero. Now, looking at 0, 030 index, bomb hatch, it has a rotate x of 180, rotate y of 0, and rotate t of 0. So basically, these this is x, this is y, and this is z. So you're going to want to change these values so that they fit what you want to do. So Rot min, I'm going to have it start 180, like it's seen here. This is 180 right now. And I'm going to want to have it rotate out like this. So, about to 90. So, it's already at 90. So, there we go. We pretty much set up our animation. Sometimes it'll take a bit of fiddling around with it to get the animation to work how you want it. Just changing these numbers, maybe negative or positive just to get them to turn the right way because sometimes when you rotate an object it changes the rotation values of others and yeah. So you may have to just change it a bit, mess around with it to get to work the way you want it to. Now, move time. 
So move time is basically how long you want to take. I'll just leave that one because I think that seems like a moderately paced sort of animation, which is what I want for a trunk. So I'm going to leave that one. And now we're pretty much good to go. There's one more thing you can tweak if you want to. Depending on what you want it, the button to press it, what button you want to press for it to work. So it's just key F. Uh, I think I'll go with a different key, maybe. I don't know. And let's try key N. So now you're pretty much done. Just save up your mod desk, your XML, and your i3D file. And then just close it all up and zip it all back up and go ahead and test it in game. It's not really too difficult to process making an animation. It's pretty much just tests and tests and tests. So there you go. Now let's go try it out in game. One more line of code I forgot to mention you need to add to the mod disk to get the info menu in game to work, F1 menu is you need to add as well this bit here I just added to the sample code you're going to have to add it to the 10n so between here and here add this and make sure animation name here matches the name of your animation for example mine will be trunk like so. So there we go. That's the other step that you're going to do. And once you've got that in, the F1 menu in game should work. So now if you go in game and you go up to your vehicle and get in and press the key that you assigned to activate the animation, which in this case I chose the N key as I set in the mod desk, mod desk I press it, the trunk should open and it does. So if your animation is not activating, then I would recommend checking your index paths, paths, making sure they're correct, because it may be pointing to something that either doesn't exist or a different item in the mod which isn't supposed to be animated. And I'd also recommend, if your animation isn't working properly, checking your Rotmin, Rotmax, Transmin, Transmax, whatever it is you use to make your animation, whatever type of animation you made. Yeah, just check that those values are right, and if it's opening backwards or something, try a negative value on one of the values there, X, Y, Z, whatever you need to do to get working. It often takes a little bit of playing with it just to get to work right. So yeah, it may take a little bit of time. But anyways, that's my tutorial on adding animated parts to a vehicle in Farming Simulator 2017. I do hope it has helped you, and if it did, leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more awesome tutorials. This is Rice911, thank you for watching. Bye!